So we'll start the service history manager file. Now, because this is a light version, um, you can't read things from the car. So you actually have to manually enter what you see in the service log in the car. So what you do is you have to build up um, what's been in there. So for my case, for the car that I've got, I'm just gonna put in a random mileage here and the code for the dealer and over here so for what I for the car that I have the first service that they had was actually just vehicle check on time and you click add so once you've done that you press OK and let's say you add another one another service let's say it's six months after that so we'll just pick a random day it's a dealer and the mileage let's just say nine let's just say that and the code and let's say they did a, an oil service the engine oil click add and let's say they also did um, air filter add press ok so now you've got this what you do is you actually save it you save that and I'll, for this I'll just call the test file so now you've got that once you've got that you um, do your service uh, you go in here and you add what you did and then you save that file and when you do the write, it'll overwrite whatever is in the car with what's in the file. So in my case, I've got this file here that I've created. And with this service, I'm just going to show you how I added um, the service in here. So with this one here, I right click and I do edit. And from here, so these are the things that I've done. So what I'll do now is add the spark plug because I actually replaced the spark plugs. Um, so obviously here you can see it's an independent. I've set it to independent because I'm not a BMW dealer and I just I've just chosen a random code for me. Entered the uh, kilometers, the date that it was done, and over here I'll just do a right click. I know, sorry, here I'm going to choose spark plug, and I say add. So that goes in there. So that's what I did all this work on this date. I'll click OK and now I'm going to save it. So I'm going to save it to the same file name. So that's done. So now I'll just hook this up to the car and I'll write all of this service to the car. Okay, so I've got the ODB2 cable plugged in uh, with the Ethernet. It goes to my Type C adapter into my laptop. And I've got the service manager running now. Um, and I'm just going to do write to car. And do detect. Okay, took a few goes for it to detect. And now I have an IP address, uh, which means it's connected. And I'm just going to do write. So it'll overwrite whatever is in the car. And it will write it with whatever that I've recorded here. Here we go. So it's erasing what's in the car and then it's writing the new service history. So now it says it's finished writing. That took some 20 seconds and now it's, it's restarting the head unit. Um, and I'll just wait a few minutes. Okay, so I waited uh, five minutes um, after the it said it finished riding. Uh, then I started the engine and now all this service that I added, which is this latest one here, I'm just going to click to show you. So it actually showed the engine oil, micro filter, um, air cleaner and vehicle check spark plugs and vehicle inspection that I did 
um, and that's it so it did write everything that was in the file so all of these were there before um, some independent and some BMW so that's it that's how you record uh, service history into your BMW thanks for watching